Hey kids, here's a novel idea. Actually make a Resident Evil movie, which is a horror film. Well, that's what they did with uh, Resident Evil. Welcome to Raccoon City, which is essentially a reboot of the uh, Resident Evil movies. Uh, the previous movies were, for the most part, not that good. Uh, I like the one in the desert quite a bit. And besides, I can't even call it horror at all. Uh, yeah, there's zombies and monsters, but uh, they emphasized action over, you know, scares. And uh, this one actually does uh, go into mood and uh, uh, legitimate bits of scariness here and there. Uh, this is uh, directed by Jo uh, Joannis uh, Roberts, who uh, is known for the 47 Meters Down movies. Uh, not sure uh, how do you pronounce this young lady's name, but uh, it stars. Go Del Rayo. Rayo? Uh, she was, uh, let's see, what was she in? <laughs> I know she was in Crawl. Uh, what was that, the movies? I'm sorry. I actually forgot. Oh, yeah, the Maze Rudder movies. I, uh, I recognized her from those. I mean, I recognized her, but I didn't realize it was her. But uh, she plays one of uh, two orphans uh, as an adult. That her brother, uh, the uh, adult version, is uh, played by uh, Robbie Emma. A-M-E-L-L. -L. Uh, she uh, runs away, and uh, it's a sinister reason why she decided to do that. I mean, not on her part. Something sinister was about to happen. Uh, but their parents had died, and uh, they were growing up, uh, or they were sent to a Raccoon City uh, orphanage where uh, Claire, the child Claire, uh, ends up having a friend who uh, is uh, somebody who would eventually, I mean, Claire would have ended up being. Let's just say that. Uh, so she runs away, or let's just say it, escapes, uh, has her life, uh, Chris, her brother, is uh, raised by uh, the scientist that uh, uh, develops the the uh, or uh, the virus that causes all the mayhem, and uh, his name is William. Well, yeah, William Birkin, played by uh, Neil. Uh, McDoug Donald I don't know how to pronounce this thing. but uh, you might know him from uh, Ravenous he played Reich in Ravenous um, he's not really a good guy but uh, one of the things uh, there, there's they brought in Leon Leon's in it uh, Jill Valentine is in it uh, uh, Leon's played by Evan, uh, it's either, well, it's probably Orgia, J-O-G-I-A, um, uh, and Valentine is played by Hannah John Kamen, who, uh, was in the, uh, Ant-Man and Wasp movie. She was the 
check that was uh, going in and out of uh, uh, solid matter, you know. Uh, yeah, uh, I I enjoyed it. Uh, this is probably the best one or the most uh, accurate to creating the type of mood uh, that a Resident Evil movie should ha have from the beginning. Uh, the previous ones, yeah, I kind of, you know, they're, you could call them guilty pleasures. I watch them every once in a while. But this one I th thought was more successful. Uh, the Spencer Mansion, uh, as soon as they walk in, it's just like in the game. Uh, they have that those stairs going up and then this, those stairs on either side that go down. They don't explore behind it uh, that much, but yeah, they uh, they do uh, find a bunch of zombies. And of course, in a Resident Evil, anything there's zombies and other creatures that pop up, uh, and this movie has them. And uh, I was pleasantly surprised. I, I was very glad. Uh, that they did go in this direction. This is the funny thing is I heard mur murmurs about another movie. I didn't even know they made it yet. And I was surprised when I was checking the listings for my local theater that a Resident Evil movie was <laughs> was released. And I wasn't sure if it was live action or not because, you know, they do Resident Evil's uh, animate it. And, uh, Yep, it, it, it's a uh, uh, regular film, and I think it's a very successful one. Uh, I hope uh, they continue in this direction if they're making more. And, uh, and you can tell that they want to make more because there is a scene within the credits. I, I, I really hate when they do this, but they, do, they did do this. Uh, it's nothing that important, but... Hey, it's there. Might as well watch it. Yeah, uh, I'm satisfied with this movie. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll make my top ten list of favorite horror movies, but it, it does have potential for that. Okay, uh, that's it for now. Uh, as usual, stay safe. Always have a good time. Thank you. I don't know.